The new era of the natural hair movement has arrived, and it's all about how to be a straight natural without all that heat damage. I'm Jade, and I've been wearing my natural curls for a long time, and it wasn't just a lifestyle, but it was the way I paid my bills. I went through a whole spiritual journey where I actually chopped off my almost butt-length natural hair into a pixie cut. As I've gotten reacquainted with my natural hair as it's grown out, I've fallen absolutely head over heels, okay, for roller sets. If you haven't seen my roller set playlist, I'll link it here. But doing my bi-weekly deep condition and roller set has been an unexpected healing journey for me. I used to source my identity from the way people reacted to my hair. And in this era, I source my identity only from God. Can I get an amen? Detaching who I am from how I look was not an easy road. And I feel like a lot of us are on that road. But now that I'm on the other side of it, to a certain extent, <laughs> I can have this beautiful healing relationship with my hair that has actually sparked a new sense of appreciation for it without idolizing it. I care for my hair and really this goes for my entire beauty regimen from hair to skin to makeup. But when it comes to how I care for my hair, it's about taking care of his temple. This body of mine has carried four kids, his kids, into this world. And while I'm not ready to go running into nobody's gym, I'm ready to have those quiet moments of peace that my body and my mind and my spirit need after running after these kids and working every day and being a wife and all the things. I need those quiet moments of peace where I'm just doing my hair, I have some soft music playing, a candle lit, and I am nurturing myself in a physical way. It's so easy to skip wash day and throw your hair in a bun and just push yourself off, especially in motherhood. But getting into the routine of a bi-weekly self-care session is so good for the soul. And believe me, I've been in seasons where I have been like, I literally mentally cannot handle doing my hair. So I had to chop it. Because anytime we start feeling like we can't handle doing basic things like our hair, it means that something has shifted for us. It means that we need to reevaluate what's happening to us on a deeper level because if it's manifesting physically in you not wanting to do your hair or do something that you used to love to do, that's just showing you that something has changed and it's time to take inventory on what that is. and. Make sure that you're in alignment with God's will in your life for the season that you're in. It's hard to let go of who we used to be in the past, but when we do, God can reveal to us who we're supposed to be in the present and who we're going to be in the future. It's not until you release that sense of control over who you are, what you look like, who you're with, all those things, that you gain the sense of peace and freedom to explore what's already laid out for you. And then you don't have to live questioning and worrying and stressing about what's gonna happen next for you. If this conversation piqued your interest, I actually have a devotional that I wrote called Becoming Her last year that is actually about to get a little bit of a makeover. God had me revisit it and I'm actually currently writing a new and updated, expanded version of it. So if you're not on my list already and you haven't gotten that devotional yet, hit the link down below and you'll automatically get the current version of Becoming Her and you'll be the first to get the new version of Becoming Her. But now that we're done talking all deep, let's get into this hair, okay? Because y'all see what's happening, right? Like you listening to me, but you also watching me and you realize that I never used a flat iron, right? So if you've been watching my roller set tutorials, you'll know that I always use a flat iron after I take the rollers down. But I started using the Amica brush and y'all, it eliminated the flat iron from this routine and I'm so excited about it. The trick to using this brush is to actually hit your roots and the entire section of your hair real slow to smooth out any texture that you don't want and then go back in and start rolling on the brush like a blowout kind of fashion. And this is really good too because 
the heat is going to continuously move on your hair so that it's never really stopping in one spot, which is very key in trying to avoid heat damage as much as possible. So you want to keep rotating this brush as much as possible. And I love this brush too, because the way that it's made, it allows you to twist so easily and just get the most perfect curls. And the crazy part is I've had this brush in a drawer for like two or three years. Like I've used it here and there for like touch-ups and stuff, but I never really got into it until it dawned on me the other day to try it out instead of using my flat iron and i'm shocked at how well it worked and will definitely be grabbing this instead of my flat iron moving forward but i will say this i did pull out my hot comb because my roots in the front were a little too difficult for me to get with the brush so definitely have a hot comb on hand if you need that extra bit of smoothness at your root especially and I know I'm using basically all Amika products in this video. Shout out to them because I was actually trying to do a whole event. It didn't happen. That story will come at a later date. But I had all these Amika products and I used them today for the first time all together. And can y'all see why they are one of the best hair care lines out there? Like, look at my hair. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Like, are you kidding me? Like, the shine, the bounce... This is crazy. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got for you today. I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video.